Hello everyone, this is Anton and in this video I want to show a quick update here we got from Heptabase. So we're at update, go to the actual version. The version is 1.17.1.2 and I'm on Android right now. The update has not come to iOS yet, but I'm anticipating it will come to iOS once it's approved through the, the Apple Store. Now what I want to show off here is that not too long ago, Heptabase released an update for mobile that allowed you to do more editing on the on the whiteboard. But they did leave out, you know, one really important feature that I thought was missing was the the actual connector. So you could not create connections between different cards or images or any of the objects on your on your board. But they did come in here and what they they allowed you to do was to click on one of the, the the cards that were in here and then at the bottom here you can see this menu where they've they've put this in place to where you can do actions on the card or the the different images that are on your on your um, on your whiteboard now what you see here now is that when you click on the object you get a certain actions that you can perform on the actual object within the on the board and they are specific to the actual object but if you click on the board itself what they have done is you before you only could add an actual card or text to your to your board in the previous version but now they've added to where you can you can select an arrow here so when you select that arrow all you have to do is if you're using a mouse I have a mouse or a trackpad here that I'm using right now all you have to do is select the object so let me go back and do this again hit the arrow and then from the arrow you know I just push down on there hold the actual button down and then I drag over to the object that I want to create that connection to and that works pretty seamlessly and even if you're using it with your hand so let me go in here I've selected the object you can see everything's going to end up being in this particular menu so it is some a little bit of muscle memory you have to get used to where you click on something then you have to go down in order to do any modifications where on the desktop it's a little bit different but from here I can go ahead and delete that that connector and I can use my hand here I'm going to use touch and you can kind of get a view here of me doing it so I select it I go to the actual card I press on it and then let's try this again could be a little slow there but you kind of have to do it a little quick Sle select the arrow then push down your finger on the actual card and then start dragging and we can see here when I drag it to this other card it creates the connection and I just let go and everything works the way it should work so this really for me completes the functionality for the whiteboard that I was looking for I'm sure there's some other things that could be done but you know when I first saw the the editing capabilities that they added in there the one of the first things I went to do was to connect something and it was missing so I was a little bit disappointed but this here is is actually what I was looking for so I think this is a pretty good addition to this this update and providing this functionality and now on mobile you're able to pretty much do most of the things that you can do on your desktop without having to go to the browser because that was kind of my workaround so as I mentioned before the updates not on iOS yet but I'm assuming that it will be there once it's approved through the App Store. And yeah, th this is a really good update and it puts Heptabase where it needs to be, I think, on the mobile front. And other than the fact that the app is, you know, when I when you look at the app, it's just a stretched out app on a tablet. It could be optimized more for the tablet, but it doesn't necessarily have to be now that at least I have the functionality that I need and other users out there have their functionality. So a quick update showing the new version uh, 1.17.1.2.
Hope you like the video. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. And until the next time, have a nice day.